Hey, how y'all doing today, ladies and gentlemen? This is Smooth Cat, Colossal Boxing Talk, and today um, I'm going to bring to you guys my segment that I have been doing, Forgotten Fighters. And my choice today is the Cincinnati kid, Tim Austin. As we know, he was born Timothy Austin. He was born April 14th, 1971. Our um, birthplace was Cincinnati, Ohio. He was a softball. And he had a record of 27 wins and two losses and one draw as a professional. But to kind of touch on his amateur background, in 1989, Tim was the, the junior national flyweight champion. He also participated in the world championships at 89 as well as a flyweight in Puerto Rico. He lost to uh, Cachabal Barari in, in 1990. He, he, he was a 19. He was a national Golden Gloves flyweight champion, and he also won the gold at the Goodwill Games in 1990 in Seattle. Okay, in 91 he was a national Golden Glove flyweight champion. He also in 91, the United States Amateur Flyweight Champion. And he also participated in the World Championships as a flyweight in Sydney, Australia. Okay, and in 1992, at the Barcelona Olympics, he, uh, <clears throat> he won the bronze medal there. He defeated Julian Strogoff, Benjamin Mor Moragnado, and he lost to Raul Gonzalez. As an amateur, he had a record of 100 and 113 wins, 9 defeats, so he, like I said, he was a very well decorated amateur. He also, um, <clears throat> his overall career numbers in title fights as a pro, he, had, he was 10 wins and had only 1 defeat and 8 of those wins coming by way of knockout in world title fights. Okay, he also he has a record of two and two with one K. Excuse me, with one knockout against former or current world titleist at the time. So, like I said, his professional record: twenty-seven wins and two losses. Twenty-four of those wins coming by way of knockout, and both his two losses coming by way of knockout as well. But. To kind of dig deep with this guy, this Tim Austin, uh, somebody based, he, he was the, um, the first version of Paul the Punisher Williams. He was the guy willing to jump up, jump up in weight classes, willing to do like all sorts of things. So um, <clears throat> he was just, he was willing to fight any and everybody, he, no matter what weight, all that, he, he, he would. He would come to your weight class and all the other good stuff, but he was a true he was a true throwback fighter, and also um, as you see now on the screen, I got a clip of him. This is his fight against Steven Datsa, and I, I just want to show you some things from this round. Okay, this Tim with the red. Okay, you see him. He presses. He uses. He he goes off the jab with basically everything. He always liked to jab, use good lateral movement, and he sees Dosa he was trying to corner him in the corner, so he used his movement to get out and throw his combinations. He was a, a hell of a high combination puncher, as you guys see. He also um, he also had real iron and steel implanted in his jaw. So, so the the term iron chin and iron jaw. You can say he had an iron chain and an iron jaw, but literally because he actually had, had to have it put in him because of surgery. Um, if I'm when he broke his jaw and and his um <clears throat> his jawline, but as you see, look at him. He loves to put punches together, and this guy. I mean, 
he, he was a very exciting fighter. As you see, you see, uh, he he was there to be hit at times, but he also he throws that that right jab, that southpaw jab, and that straight left cut was just dangerous. As you see with the fight with Dase, Dase is trying to corner him, and Austin is moving, constantly moving, shooting the jab, throwing the straight left to the body, left on top. But overall, as you see, he's a very intelligent fighter. He puts his punches together so well, very well. And also, as I mentioned, he has power. And and I see you see the type of shots Dose is taking. And I kid you not, he's not going to be taking these too too much longer with the type of power he see. As I say, he he dropped Dose because that's. <laughs> Dose got a little uh, over anxious. He was uh, being successful with what he was doing, but as you see, he's hurt, and that was the end of the fight there. But what I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna rewind so we can go through that sequence again. Okay, here we go. Here, all right, pulling jab. Okay, he trying to set up the straight left right down the middle, but while Dose is in close, he can't do it. So he has to use his lateral movement. He misses there, but he said, okay, you know what? Shoot the jab, and I'm going to try again. And he caught him perfectly. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one more time. Okay, watch this, because he, he's going to pull with the right jab. He's going to pull. Okay, that's the pull. No, 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 no. Here, here it goes right here. Okay, like I said, as you see, here it comes. The pull. No. There we go. Here we go. The paw. And then he throws it with some prevention. And he lands it flush. And Steven Dulce was out of there. But, Tim, like I said with Tim Austin, great fighter. Great fighter who, who, who didn't get all the, the, the well deserved detention that he, do, that he actually deserved, in my opinion. Like I said, he was a, a real throwback fighter. Great amateur. Great pro. He, it, it seems as if his loss, his losses, his loss to Rafael Marquez kind of took a lot out of him. It, even though that, that was a great fight, but Mar Marquez ended up, he was the younger and the fresher of the two at that time. And, <clears throat> and he was able to stop uh, to to went on after his first loss to beat uh, Ronaldo Hurtado, fifth round TKO. Then he fought Julio Coronel, third round TKO, and his last fight was against Eric Aiken in a fight where he was stopped. And after that, that was basically the end of Tim Austin as a pro. But as a pro, he had an 80% knockout ratio. He, like I say, he, he's a fighter that you don't hear a lot of people talk about, but he definitely deserves that type of publicity because... Like I said, he was willing to fight any and everybody. He he truly embodied the the throwback fighter, the throwback fighter mentality. And like I said, he never ducked anyone. But with that being said, I um hopefully you guys uh like the video. Hit the like uh hit the like button for me. Leave your comments in the comment section referring to Tim Austin, your favorite fighter he is. Your favorite moment of his, or, or anything of that sort, and I'll definitely respond to you in my earliest convenience. Also, if um, you guys hit the subscribe button for me, keep showing Colossal Box and talk the love and support. And like I said, we'll keep bringing you forgotten fighters. And all, and <clears throat> listen, it's this it, is basically like this Colossal Box and talk. We, we're we're gonna come up and we, we just we trying to show you guys we're here to stay. And we also appreciate all the support you guys have been showing us. So with that said, um, oh yeah, uh, you can go to Facebook, hit the like button on the Colossal Box and Talk page, Twitter and Instagram, follow us at Colossal CBT. I am Smooth Cat and I'm out. Copy box numbers and you'll see in total punches.